so Michael and I just got home from a long day hiking the new lava trail that goes to the new beach at Pohoiki because today's his birthday and we just got home and it's dark but we're covered in salt from all the ocean spray and sweat so we have to shower but right now our shower is not warm because we haven't changed out the mulch because we were waiting to do it so that we can make a video about it but we haven't gotten to it so it's freezing and I'm washing my legs right now because that's the only thing I could handle but I'm gonna get up to my upper body and it's gonna be really cold although the water's not that cold and it's cold <laughs> Hey guys, it's Mike, and as you can see from that first clip, our shower is not hot anymore. We've let it sit for over two months, and it's partly because we haven't been here, so I haven't really spent the time to uh, redo it. This video specifically is going to be on how I layer the carbon and the nitrogen in the form of mulch and grass. And I also put a little something over the top that maybe some of you guys know. Could be gross to some people, but it actually works really good. And I'll let you know what that is later on in the video. So this whole compost pile has been here for quite a while and I'm pretty certain that it's turned pretty much to like soil. So I'm going to be using all this mulch and compost on like maybe, I think I'm using it on a pineapple bed. I'm going to be reusing this, you know, mulch that we've composted and heated our shower with. And then I'm going to replace it with some new mulch and grass and stuff. So uh, stick around if you want to see how I do this. So I just realized maybe some of you have no idea what I'm talking about. So we're actually heating our shower using a compost system. And inside this compost pile is coils of HDPE tubing. It's about 100 feet. I think it is 100 feet. And as the water passes through that tube, it gets heated by the compost and then our shower's hot. We've been using this for a while and it works really well. The only thing is that you have to have a little maintenance on it and um, turn it and rebuild it every month or so. Now that you're all caught up, let me start taking this apart. As you can see, it looks pretty good. I, I like how it's a bit mulchy and not complete soil. But it's definitely broken down a lot. As I got down to the bottom of the pile, the compost had been way more broken down. I would definitely not recommend just using this to plant things because it is just too muddy. It has no drainage. You need to mix this with a cinder soil or just uh, if you're not in Hawaii you probably can't get cinder but you can get sand. Mix it with something small rocks for drainage. This is good because it has a lot of nutrients, but it doesn't drain well, so it's not going to help the plants. Okay, so I've now uncovered the coils, and now I'm going to start to rebuild this. When you do like a one month maintenance on it, you're not going to have to take all of this apart. You could just like take it out and refill it with nitrogen, but in this case, it's been sitting a long time. So I'm just completely redoing it and showing you guys the process from start to finish. I don't think it really matters much which layer you start with, but I'm going to start with the green stuff, the nitrogen first, and then layer it with carbon, the mulch, and then just keep layering it until it's about this big, like maybe this high, 
it doesn't have to be much from our experience just covering the coils maybe like a foot over them the mound it's enough and it lasts from anywhere from two weeks to four weeks depending I guess how much the nitrogen is in there and working so each layer I put down was approximately one to two inches so I put a layer of grass for nitrogen and then a layer of mulch for carbon and in between maybe every two or three loads I'd pack it down and then at the top I put two wheelbarrow full of just the mulch to to like kind of lock it all in the reason we use the compost heater opposed to like solar which is probably the first thing you think of when you think of like Hawaii and how to heat water and it'd probably be easy right well where we live it rains so much that the sun's not out all the time and even if it were imagine wanting to take a shower in the morning the sun's not going to be out all night so it's going to be cold in the morning your shower this way it's always going to be warm as long as I do the maintenance on it every two to four weeks it's always going to be hot coming out of our shower so that's great also behind me is a Lilikoi trellis that I built and this is a giant compost pile I'm sure these Lilikoi roots have tapped in we're getting like hundreds of Lilikoi off of this trellis it's just been amazing the quality and the size of them third reason I use this instead is because of all the great soil that we built from it all the great compost that I'm going to be able to plant my pineapples with and also I had enough that I'm going to start some more papayas also saved a bunch for like potting plants and all of that I'm going to be mixing with the cinder soil just for better drainage because it, as you saw it was just like too muddy and sludgy so really in a permaculture sense this is way more beneficial to the whole system Heating with the sun is really doesn't do anything else for you besides get hot water and it's not going to do it at night when the sun's not out. So I really love this method and it doesn't bother me at all to have to maintain it. It's working for us. So give it a try. All right, so I almost forgot about the special secret ingredient and most of you guys that have been watching us probably know what it is already. Um, some of you that don't know what this is, you're probably going to be grossed out by it. But this is a bucket that we pee in every night. And we usually spread it around to the plants that look like they could use some food because human pee is actually very rich in nitrogen. So this being a compost pile that needs a lot of nitrogen to stay hot, it's perfect. So for the next couple days, I'm just going to be using our pee from overnight and like soak in this pile here just to give it a little extra boost to get it to heat up quicker been probably three days since I redid the compost heater and this water is like I'd say 95 almost 100 degrees um, it only lasts for about three minutes because the coils are so small but all we need is three minutes to take a shower Paulina would probably like a little longer but I don't mind Most definitely would actually it's like too warm now the water is really nice and it's perfect temperature for a hot sunny day like today Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, uh, I really love to share this because it's one of our greatest things that we've created here. Greatest, Hot showers. Greatest life accomplishments. We hope you learned something new today and maybe you can implement it into your everyday life. It's three things in one. You're making soil, you're heating water, and what else are we doing? Oh, the compost that's there is feeding the lilikoi that's mm -hmm. growing right next to it. So permaculture. So permaculture. <laughs> like, not even. This is about as permaculture as it gets. Well, we couldn't prove if we made our own mulch from our own hmm? trees. Yeah, I guess we are getting mulch from the county. This sucks. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs>
Can we just make it really short? All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you learned something new today. Yeah, definitely give it a try if you're in the situation of living <laughs> off-grid. <and laughs> the situation. Even if you're not off-grid, to have an outdoor shower is really awesome. Yeah, especially in the summertime. Yeah. <laughs> you probably don't want one in the winter. <laughs> Maybe you do. If you have a compost pile, you can just heat your water. Yeah, outside. people use uh, jacuzzis in the winter. Yeah, all right. Yeah, so set up an outdoor shower and uh and heat it with compost yeah and just like embrace the outdoors all right so definitely hit the like button if you like this video comment down below if you have any input to say to us and subscribe if you haven't already and of course share the video if you want to blow someone's mind and help us grow our channel yeah all right bye guys have a good day